What's up everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Sebastian and today I want to show you how you can recreate Sam Calder's Luma Keyer transition that he used in his video My Year 2016. But before we start today's video, I want to say thanks to you all watching. We recently hit 300 subscribers, which is incredible. So thank you, I appreciate every single one of you. And yeah. Let's just start the transition tutorial in DaVinci Resolve. So we're in the edit page right now and the first clip is me drawing the skyline of New York City and the second clip is the actual clip from New York City. So now let's get to the actual transition. The first step is determine how long this transition should be. For me it is two seconds so I drag my clip up then I watch what frame the last frame is this is at 10 13 so let's go to 8 13 right there and then we make a cut then we drag our second clip in and we make a cut right there as well so the next step is to highlight both clips right click and create a new fusion clip so once this is done put your cursor over the fusion clip and then go to the fusion page so now this should look something like this and let's just check what media in and what media 2 is. So just click media in, hit 1 on your keyboard, click media 2, hit 2 on your keyboard. So media in 1 is the city, so let's rename that city, and media in 2 is the drawing. So let's rename that as well. Also make sure that your drawing is always in the foreground position and your actual clip is in the background. So from there, the first step is go to draw. Hit shift spacebar and search for Luma Keyer. There it is. Then hit add. Then go to your city node and add a transform node. All right, so then go back to your Luma Keyer and add a polygon node. So now with this polygon selected, let's go in there and make a rough mask from the drawing, something like that. Then make sure to go back to the Luma Keyer and check invert and then bring low all the way up and then show your media out on the second window just hit two on your keyboard when you're on media out then go back to the transform node and then just transform the size from your city clip down and if you can't see what's happening in the media out window just go back to your luma keyer and drag this all the way down so you can actually see what you're working with all right go back to your transform node to just try to match this as good as possible doesn't have to be perfect something like that should work fine now let's go back to our polygon node and give it some soft edges something like this and then decrease the border width so this should work fine so now go to frame zero Go to Luma Keyer and then drag the slow part all the way up. So you just see your sketch. Then we gotta keyframe it. And then let's say go to frame 46 and then drag the slow part all the way down. Also this eye part. Just a quick reminder guys, if you like today's video and if you enjoy my content at all, please make sure to give it a like and a subscribe because this would just help the channel a lot. So with that said, let's go back to the video. So go back to frame zero and watch this back. This is what you've created so far. So if this is a little bit too fast for you, just reset this Luma Keyer. Go back to frame zero, drag this all the way up. Make sure to hit invert again. So now keyframe this and then go back to frame 46 and then drag it all the way down to 0.35. So that just makes it a little bit slower. All right, so this is looking pretty good right now. The next step that we can add is a zoom. So let's go to merge. Let's go to merge one, hit shift spacebar, and type in transform right there, or you can cancel and just click this transform button. So now let's say we want to start our zoom at frame 25. So then go to frame 25 and check the keyframe at size. And then go to frame 45 and then just zoom in as much as you want. So 
this is what we have created so far. Doesn't look too good right now, but there's a lot more that we can add. So let's hit shift spacebar again and type in glow. Let's add this glow. And then let's say we want to add glow at frame seven. So let's keyframe the shine threshold at 1.0 and then go to frame nine and then give it a little bit of glow. Go to frame 15, increase the glow 24, increase it further, then go to frame 39 and start decreasing it. So now what we also can add, hit shift spacebar and type in lens distortion, then add, and then go to your transform node so we are zooming in at frame 25. So let's go to lens distortion. Open the lens distortion model drop down menu and keyframe distortion at frame 25. Then go to frame 35 and increase the distortion. And then go to frame 45 and just decrease it back to zero. So now this should look something like this. Keep in mind that this is not playing back in real time because of its rendering. So what we can do next is go to Transform 2, go to Settings and check Motion Blur and increase it to around 7 or 8. If this is too much for you, you can always decrease it because this takes a bunch of CPU power to render. So then still on Transform 2, open up the Spline window and then check the luma keyer, zoom to fit. So then highlight all of those nodes and hit S on your keyboard. Then uncheck the luma keyer, go to transform 2, do the same thing, hit S. If you want the zoom effect to happen really fast, just drag this upper handle all the way to the beginning so that it ramps up and then gets slower. So then go to glow 1, highlight them all, hit S on your keyboard and then go to lens distortion and highlight them as well and hit S. So now this is done and we're pretty much finished. So let's go back, wait for this to render. And then once this is rendered, we can watch it back. So now you see there is a mistake. I zoomed in, but I have to zoom in in the next clip as well, but I'm not going to do that right now. So what you want to do now is try to match the position of the skyline from your fusion clip to the position of the skyline from your next clip so that it's a smooth transition. But I'm not going to do that right now because the, this takes time and a lot of fine tuning. And you know, just use the zoom and the position tools so you can match the shot. So you see this is a transition that is pretty easy but pretty unique to do. You can always use this in your videos to enhance the production quality. And you can always go back into Fusion and add maybe a camera shake to the zoom in effect. So that is how you can achieve the Sam Calder Luma Keyer transition with your own footage. And if you want to, I left a link in the description where you can download the clip of me drawing and the clip of the New York City skyline so you can actually practice and work with me as I did this tutorial. So that's all I got for now. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, please make sure to give it a like. And if you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe to not miss out on any upcoming content on DaVinci Resolve. So with that being said, hope you have a great day. See you in the next one. Bye.